Okay, so first, let's start by this with this understanding of what collagen is. Because collagen, I don't think we think about it until we lose it. At least that was really me when I, I you know, I kind of thought about collagen and then I hit my 40s and all of a sudden I started to see more wrinkles on my face. I started to get more injuries in my joints. And when I dove into what was happening to the female body during the, my 40s, I saw, oh, there's this real interesting intersection between estrogen production and collagen. So let me let me explain this because this is really this episode I want to is is all about aging and how do we work with it. And a part of working with aging is understanding that there are certain changes that are happening to you that you might not be aware of. So we have three types of estrogen. One is called estradiol. I call her the diva. Estradiol came in in the front half of your cycle and and released an egg. So these are for women. So you know if you're if you have a, a male counterpart that's watching this with you, obviously it doesn't apply to him. But estradiol released the egg, but she also brought with her what I call the girl gang. She brought her girl gang with her. So whatever estradiol came in, she stimulated dopamine, serotonin, acetylcholine, glutamate. BDNF, which is like brain fertilizer for your brain, and oxytocin. So you had all these neurochemicals that came with estradiol. But she also brought another nutrient with her called collagen. And collagen, when it's in your system, it makes your skin elastic and it creates cartilage in your joints so that your joints aren't rubbing against each other. So as a woman moves through perimenopause and into those postmenopausal years, oftentimes she sees that all of a sudden the wrinkles show up, all of a sudden the joint stiffness shows up. So it's because you're not getting as much natural collagen production now, and you've got to supplement it from the outside, which leads me to my first nutrient for you to add in, and it's hydrolyzed collagen. Now, hydrolyzed collagen is, is a little bit different in the sense that it requires, collagen in general, by the way, requires a very large amount of amino acids. And so hydrolyzed means that they have m broken this, um, this collagen down. Most of the time it comes from a bovine collagen. So it's derived from cl uh, cows. It has the same exact... The bovine version has the same exact amino acid profile as our human version. So let me back up for a second because I always want to honor my plant-based friends. But we, when we're looking at things that we can get in nature that are plant-based compared to things that are like an omnivore, like meat style, sometimes there's not a match. So if you're okay doing hydrolyzed collagen in a bovine source, you're going to get the same collagen amino acid profile as estradiol was making. If you're like, I'm not doing a bovine source, I will tell you that my favorite, my favorite marine source is put out by True Vani. Vani Hari, so she's a friend of mine, she's a food babe, I know she has good quality products, she has a marine source. But for the sake of this video, I wanna just point out that the bovine source of hydrolyzed collagen it's, it's best to get the bovine because it is coming from, it is mo the most analogous with your own collagen production. Now, when you go to buy collagen, I just want to make sure that you're looking at the label and make sure it says hydrolyzed collagen on it. That just means it's been broken down into amino acids already, so it's easier for your body to, to absorb. Now, most collagen powder will be hydrolyzed, so this shouldn't be hard to do. Now, there was a 2023 meta-analysis in, in the journal Nutrients, which is a meta-analysis means they looked at a lot of different studies. In this particular study, they looked at 26 different studies, and they found, uh, and they specifically were looking at taking hydrolyzed co uh, collagen to slow the aging of skin. And what they found was that there was a daily improved skin hydration and skin elasticity 
that and that collagen with collagen intake and that it overall over time they didn't say how long right because it's a it's a meta analysis so it's looking at these 26 different studies and it found that not only is it helping make the skin look more hydrated not only is it helping with elasticity of the skin but that it's actually overall reversing the aging of skin Oh my God, if you think about the, the, the ramifications of that, how many people are spending thousands and thousands of dollars on trying to stop aging skin when really one of the biggest steps they need to do is they need to take this hydrolyzed collagen every single day. And here's what this meta-analysis found is that it's 10 to 20 grams of collagen protein a day, which is usually one to two scoops for natu- increasing your natural collagen production. Now you want it, you, it, it's flavorless, collagen is flavorless, you can put it in water and it's also heat tolerant so you can heat it up. I will tell you where I put it in. As a soon to be 55, depending on when you listen to this, my birthday is in October, so it's coming up. I'm about to go to my 55th year. And I take every morning in my coffee, I do one scoop of collagen powder, and I do a scoop of creatine. That has given me more muscle strength, has hydrated my skin more than anything else I have seen to date. And I've been practicing a lot of things because I am not going in on the, the Botox, I'm not going in on fillers, I'm not toxifying myself to stay young, to look young. I am using the principles, the pro-aging principles that I'm teaching you here on my podcast and my YouTube channel so that I can age at the appropriate rate for my body. So 10 to 20 grams of collagen protein every single day.